Hey guys, Backyard Scientist here. You know, I've always wanted to make one of those giant burning magnifying glasses that people make by taking apart old rear projection TVs. I know it's been done a million times before, but I just wanted to try it for myself. Anyway, this is the lens that I got from taking apart an old television, and you can tell it's a little bit too flimsy to use by itself, so what I did is I sandwiched it in between two pieces of glass, glued it all together, and now I'm waiting for it to dry overnight. But while it's drying, I want to show you how the projector works because it's actually pretty cool. So if you look at this image right here, it looks like a completely normal image, but if you slow it down, it begins to flicker, and that's because it isn't one single image, but rather a composite of five images, and each image corresponding to a color on the color wheel. So how this projector works is you have the light that is shining through the color wheel, which has five separate colors on it. And that light gets focused down onto this DLP chip. This chip actually has over a million mirrors on it that can either reflect the light towards the screen or bounce the light away from the screen. So anyway, when you're watching a video or something on the projector, it's actually processing each frame and dividing it into five separate frames, one frame for each color. And then what it does is it plays them back really fast and it appears like a normal image. In fact, we can actually measure how fast that the motor is spinning. So we can measure the output of the sensor that monitors the motor's speed and see it spinning at almost 240 times per second. Because it's flashing so fast, we perceive it as a steady white light. However, if you move your eyes around really fast or wave your hand in front of the screen, you'll see a rainbow effect appear on the screen. Well, all right, now it is time to burn some stuff, but how much burning can we expect from this giant lens? Well, they say in Florida that there's about an average of 1,000 watts of sunlight that hit the ground every square meter. And if this giant lens is about 0.8 meters, that means we expect to get about 800 watts of light focused through this thing. But due to some other stuff like the angle of the sun in the sky, the reflection of some of the light off of the glass, and the glass absorbing some of the UV and IR light, we can really only expect to get about 600 watts of power focused through that lens. Now, I say only 600 watts, but 600 watts of power focused onto a penny is enough to melt it. First, I want to try overclocking a solar panel. So this solar panel is rated at 5 watts. What happens if we focus 600 watts onto it? Will it put out a lot more power, or will it just simply go up in smoke? Alright, so if we measure the power output of this solar panel by itself, so we're getting about 400 milliamps of current. 4 tenths of an amp. So now, let's see what happens when we turbocharge. So let's see. Oh, oh, wow, look at that. Yeah, so most I'm getting, let's see, about maximum 1.1 amps. And that's on the whole thing. But now what if we concentrate all of the power onto one little section of the solar panel? Let's try it. Dun, 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 okay, it's actually dropping. 0 0.17, 0 0.16, 0 0.19. Whoa. Yeah, I'm not breathing. Actually, I've just been exhaling this whole time. Wow. A little warning next time. So now let's let's try the whole thing again and see what we get. What are you getting? 0.4. So you broke it. So it looks like I I just by messing up one cell because these are all wired in series. Oh yeah, I must have permanently messed up this solar panel. So depending on the orientation of the Fresnel lens, if it's faced one way or the other, you'll either get this really nice sharp focal point, or we'll flip it around and show you. It's not as sharp as a focal point. You can see that it's actually more of like a parabola shaped focal point. All right, Riley, arm the laser. Laser armed. I gotta say that shaving cream cans are my new favorite thing to destroy. They're pretty loud, but it happens so fast, even on high speed. Great success! Alright, a lot of people were curious what would happen to sunglasses, so we've got some black sunglasses and clear sunglasses, because I think this light might be so intense it could even burn the clear ones. But first, let's try the black sunglasses. Alright, here we go. Okay, it's right here. Wow, you know, they actually last better than I thought. Oh, there they are, now it's on fire. The black sunglasses did not fare very well. They were covered in holes, totally melted. Now let's try the clear sunglasses. Leave it on there for a couple of seconds, see if anything happens. It's like hot, it's burning me through the glasses. It doesn't look like it's uh, heating up the glasses. Now we're gonna be trying to melt some lead pellets for my BB gun. Let's see if we can melt metal. Admittedly, lead is pretty easy to melt. 
has a very low melting point. Oh wow, come come see it. Lead was pretty easy, now let's try to melt some pewter. So we've got this pewter mug we just got at Goodwill. Whoa, it melted a hole right through it, didn't it? Wow, that's hot. Did you, did you get that? Whoa, you see that? Yep. I might be wearing a gas mask. It's just pewter. What about when it was lead? It's not getting the lead hot enough to vaporize anything. It was smoke. That's from like the wax on the lead to keep it from like rusting. Okay. Uh, if I get whatever heavy metal poisoning, I'm sending you to the hospital. Dude, though. if I don't have he heavy metal po if I don't have heavy metal, no. Maybe I do have heavy metal poisoning. <laughs> I was gonna say, if I don't have heavy metal poisoning by now, you will be fine. Mm. All right, well, it looks like we completely melted that pewter pitcher. Look at that. It did take a while, probably about five or 10 minutes, but oh no, we did completely melt that pewter pitcher and turned it into a beautiful, shiny pool of molten tin. Look at that. The power of the sun. Here's just some popcorn. We'll see if we can get it started. And then, you know, we'll do the actual rest of the popcorn in a bowl or something. So here we go. And this might be better because we won't focus it, but instead we'll leave it kind of wider so we don't just burn the popcorn. I think I see something happening. Oh, popcorn. Go. Oh, popcorn! Boop. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Now we're going to see what happens if we do eggs. So first we're gonna try a brown egg and then we'll try a white egg. So I'll just put like the egg right here. All right, and, and scoot it in. Then let's see what happens. We'll just have to wait and see. Well, that is pretty hot. What do you say? That was, that's been like a minute. Yeah. You wanna take it out and see it what it looks like? Basically a glowing orb on camera. It's still cold. Is it? Yeah, you can hold it in your hand. Oh yeah, look at that. Can you see that? Oh yeah, that's smoking really good. Oh, ah! it smells so bad. Did you see that? Yep. Oh, it's popping out. Come get a close up of that. Well, I can't say I actually expected the egg to get cooked, but that was just nasty. Anyway, Sandra heard us having all the fun and decided to come out and try it for herself. Look, this stick's got a baby stick on it. I leave you alone for one second. <laughs> <laughs> that oh, wow. Very good at this. All right, so let me show you. We never really showed you how there easy it, it is to set wood on fire. It was like that. Two seconds, it touches the wood, and then boom, it goes on fire. And you know what I saw Grant Thompson do on his video? He melted a penny. No. So let's try that. Does it look red hot to you? Or is it just the glasses? Oh, wait, I set the wood on fire on it. Oh! There you go. Ooh! All right, guys, that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. We've got another one, a good video coming up soon involving the new Fortnite update. Take a guess what that is. <laughs> Not a good idea. <laughs> so, so we'll try that and we'll post the video. See you guys soon. Bye.